Hey campers, I hope you guys are all doing well. I know we've been kind of lagging on the, on the kennel aspect of the, of the channel. It's because I was waiting on something. I've really been trying to figure out how to do the heating and, and cooling on this thing. There's been a ton of you guys suggesting all kinds of crazy shit to include heated floors. Unfortunately, these floors, I don't, I don't think people understand too much where I'm sliding this thing in and out. There's not a lot of space between the floors. So a hot water system that heats the floor really isn't, it's, it's very luxurious, but it's not, it's not the way I think I could go anyways. Anyways, um, I, I chose EcoFlow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to EcoFlow the whole thing out and hopefully I made a good decision. The Iceco refrigerator, guys, if, if, you're, if any of you are interested, what have we had this now? For three months, I think? At least three months. It's been plugged in in the garage. It's been plugged in in here in the garage the entire time. Uh, the temperature hasn't fluctuated at all. It keeps the temperature really good. And I always have drinks in it. Um, so I'm always coming out here and raiding this refrigerator to get drinks out of. It works very well. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. I know I probably shouldn't be that impressed, but I don't think of these things, I don't think of these things as something that you, that's running 24 hours a day, seven days a week, blah, 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 for months on end, right? It's, it's for camping trips and shit like that. So far it's been running very well and the temperature has not fluctuated even with the temperature going up and down here. Um, the one thing I'm not too impressed with is their battery. Um, it works, but it, you just don't get enough time. Like you couldn't, at least here in this environment, I couldn't take this thing out for a weekend with this battery. It really only lasts about 11 hours and then it's dead. Now, solar panels and all that, you can recharge it, blah, blah, blah. And there's different ways around it, but I expected a little longer time. You know, I was, I was thinking a day, uh, give, me, give me 24 hours with this or 10 hours or I don't know, but it doesn't charge as long, but it's still, it's still a good piece of gear. It stays charged for a long time. I charged this thing uh, two months ago and it's, it's still at hundred percent. And I do like the fact that it's magnetic and it just sticks to the front of the front of the cooler. But if you're going to do anything serious with this thing, you definitely need two of those batteries or a solar panel to run it during the day, blah, blah, blah. Anyways. Now, again, very happy with the Iceco refrigerator. But I'm going EcoFlow with everything else because they have everything else. They have the power station, they have the solar panels, and they have the heating and air conditioning system we're going to use. So what I got was the um, EcoFlow Pro 2, I think it is. Let's see what we got here. Mm, nice foam. The box did come damaged. Like it is, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is, you know, <laughs> I can get inside this motherfucker and they just put some bullshit tape on there. So it did come damaged, but the, the foam quality they use is pretty, I mean, that's, that's like, that's nice foam. It's not bullshit foam. Um, so they did good on the foam, but they're, Again, where the box is damaged, there is no foam. It's o only on the top and the bottom. But that is that is really that is really good good foam. I don't know what kind of foam. Here's my box of accessories. I think here's what. So it's an EcoFlow Delta Two Max. I think that's the newest version. Um, it's kind of heavy. I think it's 52 pounds, if I remember right. But this is what we're gonna use for the power, right? This is gonna be, this, this hopefully, I'm pretty sure it will, um, power the AC and heater and any lights accessories that we put on the, on the dog kennel. I'm gonna go all 12 volt with all those accessories on the dog kennel. So it, they shouldn't be pulling a lot of power. The reason why I went with this is because this is 20, 20 foot, beep, beep. Beep, beep, I don't know. Basically, this is double the battery that go the, the battery that comes with the air conditioning unit. And so everybody was saying that that battery was lasting about 12 hours. 
So I wanted to go, you know, have at least enough power to go 24 hours with just the battery. And that's why I got this. Plus I can add another battery to this. Um, so hopefully this thing's gonna work. As we figure out how we're gonna install it in the back and do all that, we'll get video for you. What kind of accessories is it coming? I don't even know. That's kind of the problem with EcoFlow though. I see a lot of reviews where people say that uh, they, don't, they don't include the accessories necessary to hook everything to everything. And so you end up buying the system and then you gotta go back. I do think there's a couple of things that I'm gonna have to order in order to make this completely work the way, the way I want it to work anyway. So let's see what we got here. We got some sort of power to power cable. And then we got a uh, 110 outlet cable to charge this thing up. I should probably do that right now. And then we have cigarette lighter. Oh, okay, so this, is, this should be the car charger. Cigarette lighter to the um, solar panel port. So that should be the car charger. Uh, so anyways, there's the, that's the power system, hopefully. It's gonna work out the way we want it to in the old truck, in the old family truckster. That's not what I want. I want, the only thing, the only problem that I have with it is just, it's the, it's where everything's located. It's on the ends, right? Which is not a big deal. It, it's just my issue is how I'm gonna put it, how I'm gonna put it in there and not just use up all my space. Where is the, that's that, that, that. Oh, there it is, okay. Not just use up all the space necessary in the trailer. This cord's kind of short. Let's see if we can get it to turn on or start charging anyways, because we want a, a full charge out of this bad bear. Ideally, this, that's how we're gonna, we're gonna run power in the old barn dominium. Ooh, look at her go. 78%, 99%. Does that say 99 hours? Oh, there we go. Now we're, now we're really... So, it does need to be charged. Also, for if you don't know, I got, in order to save money, I got everything reconditioned. So this is a reconditioned unit. Um, I wouldn't be able to tell. Everything looks good on it. The plastic's all good, everything. Um, you do save quite a bit of money when you recondition, when you get a reconditioned unit. So that is a reconditioned unit. Uh, next thing we got is the EcoFlow Wave 2. So I don't know if it's this year's model or last year's model, blah, blah, blah. But this is the new version. So this has heating and air conditioning, heating and air. So it should solve my problem without having to buy a big unit. The unit that, the unit that was on there was way, way, way too big for the size. Now, when they had the dog in the dog kennel, when they had the dogs in the dog kennel, everything was open. So basically they were forcing air conditioning just out into the atmosphere. Um, so you needed a big unit in order to cool that dog in there because you, it wasn't sealed up. But since we're sealed up now, it should be a lot better. All right, so wave two comes with all kinds of ducting, all right, different, different ducting vents that go on the different portions of the, of the unit. Of course, your, your two, your, your intake and your exhaust, that's your drain plug. What did I just drop? Oh, the power unit, and then your intake and exhaust hoses. And then more really, you know, I did get instructions, even though this is, this also is a reconditioned unit. What is that? <clears throat> there's my template for something, and there's some strange plastic piece. All right, nice, nice. Figure that out with the instructions. And then we got another. Did they give me all the venting stuff? That's nice. Okay, so there's the front piece. Okay, so again, remember I said reconditioned? That unit, you can't tell that it's reconditioned. On this one, 
This is the front piece, and you can see that, you know, it's been in and out of somebody's car, or garage, or whatever. But again, as long as it works, I don't care. So they use really good foam. I have no idea how I'm gonna get this out of there. So there's the unit, and it looks, I mean, it looks, I mean, it looks brand new. I don't see any, I don't see any damage, damage to it. So basically this functions as a heater and an air conditioner. Uh, and in a, in a very small enclosed space, such as this thing, because of the square footage, I think it's gonna work very well. I think it's gonna fulfill the needs we need. It's gonna keep Little Spoon at the lower temperature range that Little Spoon needs. Um, so it should be good. I, I really, I, I hope I'm, I have high hopes for this system. Even comes with a little, uh, a little template for you to do your window vent. Now, again, like I said before, this all this stuff is reconditioned, and I'm surprised that they include all the stuff as if it was brand new. I, I know that sounds weird, but I've I've messed with reconditioned things before, and usually they're missing the plug. They're missing, you know. It's usually, usually the company just takes that thing that was returned and sends it out as is. This, it seems like they actually went through this thing. It's got all the little tags and stuff on it and made sure that it actually still worked. So that, I really like that. Um, but it looks like a good unit. It's, it's, I think it's the right size as far as the unit is and how much space I have. This is gonna fucking work out awesome. And as soon as we get in there, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go, we're gonna drive as far north as we can to find snow. And we're gonna see if we'll survive. The last thing I got was just to make sure that I don't run out of power, is we got a 400 watt, and we got their 400 watt solar panel. We bought the 400 watt solar panels to go with it. Again, these solar panels are also reconditioned, apparently, re reconditioned. Um, I was really worried about, I didn't know, I didn't know that this stuff came from China. You know, I ordered it, and of course, when I ordered it, I tried to use the PO box, and they're like, eh, you can't use the P.O. box. I'm like, what good is a P.O. box if you can't have any mail sent to it? But, um, so I needed to give them another address and all that stuff, you know, they're, they're, all the stuff below was Chinese. To include, they sent a message apologizing, saying it may take longer to get your stuff because the, the Chinese New Year is upon us and we might not be able to respond. And I'm like, holy shit, this stuff's coming from China, I'm not gonna see it for a month. I actually got it in a week. So the, it, it, the units and everything was already in the United States, but I guess the, I guess the communication goes through somewhere in, in uh, mainland China. So, but the units were already in the United States. And this is the weird, I don't know why they have this Z, this Z pattern here. But these are the 400 watt solar panels. It's the biggest panels. Uh, it's the biggest panels that they, they have for their, their stuff. Um, basically, I wanted to be able to, I wanted to be able to use power inside the rig, like rig, in the dog kennel, and also still be charging the battery so that at night, if we're using heat or, uh, or air conditioning that, you know, that the next day we're not out of power. And these will go on the, these will go on the roof. Um, I have some military solar panels, but I just don't think they were good enough. So these, this, this whole unit will go on the roof. This is their, it's their, technically their portable system. Like I guess all the solar panels are supposed to be portable. Yeah, that's a nice box. Let me give you all the instructions right on the box. It's pretty cool. Um, comes with these uh, D-rings, this is how you, it's got a stand inside so you can stand it up and get the right angle for the sun. Um, but I'm not gonna be using that way. Basically we're gonna, we're gonna have a rack made for the roof of the, of the roof of the dog kennel and this is gonna go on that rack and it'll be kind of a permanent personnel up there. 
gonna pull this out since it's upside down. I mean, this must have been a some sort of influencer because all these things, again, like I said, guys, I bought them all reconditioned. You save quite a bit of money if you buy their stuff reconditioned. Um, and all this stuff is, I mean, it looks brand new. It's got good, this cover is really nice. I'm, I'm sure John, I'm sure SOE would be very expensive. And then you have this cover. And I don't know how that, I've watched a hundred videos on this and no, I don't remember. Let's see. Oh, because I think you go this and then like, anyways, we'll open it up. Does it just come out of the case? I, oh, I, I guess it does. That's why, that's why I'm not. That's why, because I forgot the cases that stand. So I will say this about this though, in all the videos, the, in all the videos, they make it out to be, I don't want to say lightweight, but a lot lighter than it actually is. It's, it's pretty heavy. I mean, it's probably, well, I don't know. It's, it is heavy though. But there's your panels, your four panels. It's supposed to be 400 watts. Um, it does like, I think, the, I think the last one, I think the last video I saw about it, it's like 382 watts that it puts out. So it should keep everything charged up and uh, keep us in business. That's what we got for the dog kennel, guys. Hopefully, uh, we can keep this content going for you and you guys in, you enjoy seeing what I'm doing with the dog kennel and how it works out. I will definitely let you know if any of this stuff peters out, if, if I have a problem with any of this reconditioned stuff so that you can make your own decision. But so far, I mean, the way EcoFlow is doing their stuff and keeping it all in-house and having everything, it might be a pain in the ass, but it's also that, uh, it's also that Apple convenience, right? As long as they have everything and everything works together, then you don't have to go shopping at all these different places. So there we go, guys. That's what we got for the dog kennel. We're gonna be making cages and, not cages, but stands and stuff for all this. It's gonna be permanently mount, not permanently, permanently, but it's gonna be hard mounted in the back of this thing. And so uh, there's some holes we have to cut in the sides for venting and bringing in fresh air and how we're gonna do that and blah, blah, blah. It'll kind of hopefully be interesting for you to watch. That's all I got for you. Thanks for watching.